Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Tuesday afternoon. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk. It is hot. I'm sorry if you can see the beads of sweat on my forehead and my lip. <laughs> Doing a little work. Um, when I'm inspired, I have a, a ton of a ton of ideas, and I write them all down, and then I figure out what I'm the most inspired to talk about. So today, and it's come up in a few different ways today and yesterday with with patients and in in real life and with friends and one question kind of made me think about um, in the process of changing our thoughts because behaviors create thoughts behaviors are all happen um, together but I talk a lot about journaling and and affirmations and um, like other ways to just quickly change your mindset and I haven't talked a lot in regards to how that is, um, how chiropractic affects that, number one. And number two, like what happens, because the whole process of changing our thoughts has to be an interruption of our behavior. So and some people will say, well, the affirmations didn't work or that mindset stuff didn't work. Most of the time it didn't work because you have a ritual to get to that behavior and and if we don't interrupt or inner, um, yeah, interrupt, I guess, interrupt the ritual to change the behavior, the behavior won't, won't change. And the first thing that ha needs to happen is awareness. I talk about awareness a lot, but, um, and awareness in, in a, in a much deeper way of like being conscious of your thoughts and how you're, um, how you're thinking, how you're feeling, what you say, what you do, where you go automatically, because those have just become habits. And so, um, you know, in, in our work, well, ch chiropractic is all about reconnecting the mind and body. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Sounds woo woo and voodoo and all that kind of stuff. But when, when the body has a pattern interrupt and the brakes can start to push, you know, I talk about the car a lot, gas pedal, brake pedal. We have, we have both for a reason. We, the gas pedal is meant to get us to move for momentum, for drive, for success, for all those kind of things. Brake pedal is meant for healing, restoring, feeling, um, flowing. Okay, so most of us are in fight or flight, which means our gas pedal is cranked. It, it's not able to come down. So when we, um, many moms and dads will say, God, Johnny just, I mean, goes all day, can't even handle to sit down. Well, number one, that's their body being stuck in fight or flight. And number two, it's likely learned. And so if that's how you are, or someone in your family is like that, then nobody can ever sit down. You can't, the brake pedal just is not pumping. And so what happens is the forced brake is crashing into the wall. And so many stressy Susans, <laughs> stressy women create stressy kids. Um, that gas pedal is cranked until we hit the wall and then we crash. So we crash, meaning something mental, something emotional. Um, we maybe get sick. We need to sleep for two days, whatever it is. That's a forced crash. So how can we get the, the gas pedal and brake pedal to work together? And the more aware we are in the, whoa, this is, this is a crazy thought. I need to get rid of this or I need to pattern interrupt this so that my behavior doesn't then go with it or align with that thought process, you have to make a change. Sorry. Um, so here's a few things. Number one, you gotta be aware. One of the best um, little tricks to do in your day, and I shouldn't, and it's probably not, um, you need to set a, well, this is what you do. You set your alarm for every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes when that alarm goes off, doesn't matter what you're doing you stop and write down what you're thinking. And so we have, it, you have in your journal, on your piece of paper, you don't need anything fancy, you just start, okay? That's start, starting erases anxiety, right? Action erases anxiety, you gotta start somewhere. Every 10 minutes, you will have a really good idea on how your thinking is. Are you stinking thinking? Are you blaming? Are you really down yourself? You don't feel like you're worth it. Um, those thoughts create our behavior. If we can interfere the thought, if we're aware enough to see, all right, this is all, this is what's happening, then the behavior is going to be different. So there's an example this weekend. 
and I love sports athletes, um, driven people that are always looking to improve and get out of their comfort zones. And so it's like, um, it's championship weekend in sports. Okay. So it, it, the weekend didn't go as well as we wanted to for this team. And my words of advice was, you don't need to get to the batting cages. You don't need to go play catch. You don't need to practice plays, think about plays, think about all the signs that the coaches are giving. You need to fix what's in between your ears. And in, in order to do that, you got to have a pattern interrupt. So going to do the same thing over and over, which has been the habit to create the behavior. And when things fall out, you know, I call it men, mental midget. We're mental midgets when we can't handle what we think and when we get down on ourselves and we can't perform. And performing truly is in anything. It's as a mom, it's as a wife, it's as a business owner, an employee, an aunt, an athlete. You're running a race, you're training, you're whatever you're doing. Performing is just all about doing what you love to do every day. So if you're not able to do that and you need a pattern interrupt. So this is what I said. Don't go to the cages. Don't play catch. Go out and run. Get your brain to think about something else. Get your heart to change its pattern, like heart rate variability stuff, the stuff that we do in the in the office with scans. That's that's what it is. It's not adapting to the stresses that you're putting on. So we need to change it. Change it. Go for a long run to get your body to to change. And so whatever it is, if we're aware of the process that creates our behavior our behavior will change. Many times I'll tell kids, well, I talked about the itch sketch already, but um, if you're starting to have stinking thinking and after you do this little assessment for 10 minutes <laughs> or every 10 minutes per day, um, if you're starting to have stinking thinking, do something to change it physically. Usually jumping up and down, doing a burpee or two, um, running down to the next driveway and back will be enough to change it. Change it so that the behavior isn't, um, if you're looking to have a different behavior, you got to change your thoughts. So change it so that your behavior starts to align with something different. From chiropractic and what we do, that's what we do every single day. Working to change your thoughts, to change how you're connected to your body, because most people aren't connected to start to be aware and start to feel because when you are aware and you feel, you can start to change it. When you are connected, you know, I only see you for five minutes on the table, right? You're, you're living your whole life outside of that office. So we can change how the brain body starts to communicate. When you start changing the thoughts that are coming in for the, so then the behaviors start changing, that's when you create major change in your life and you start to hit your goals, whatever it is, whatever the reason is for you to be in the office or to have a better life. So a few things, get your journal, get your piece of paper out, document what you're thinking every 10 minutes. At the end of those 10 minutes or at the end of that day, that night before you go to bed, evaluate how much was positive, how much was negative. That gives you a really good idea as to what's going on because our subconscious, unconscious is what creates our conscious, okay? Next, once you start to be aware of that, when you're thinking, stinking, thinking stuff, change it physically. Go for a run. Uh, honestly, two jumps, two burpees, two anything is going to change how your brain is working to change the course, which is why a lot of people like for creatives or writers, um, people that are um, creating projects, speaking, writing a, writing a speech, as soon as you have a block, you need to change your environment and your body needs to move, your brain needs to move and your heart needs to move. So that's when people will say, go for a walk or get into grass and ground yourself, get your feet down in grass, go for a run, whatever it is, listen to different music while walking, running, because that changes your brain chemistry. All right. That was long. I thought it was only going to be about five minutes. So thanks for listening. Um, I would love to hear some of the ahas that you have because when you decide to take ownership of your thoughts instead of this is what I always do, which is your behavior, you're going to make a huge change in your behavior by your thoughts. Well, that was kind of a crazy way to say that and kind of confusing. But anyway, um, talk later.